Ever wondered why the ground beneath us, seemingly solid and steady, would suddenly shake, rattle and roll? The answer lies not on the surface, but deep beneath our feet, in the restless movement of the Earth's tectonic plates. Imagine the Earth's crust and upper mantle as a giant jigsaw puzzle. This puzzle is made up of pieces called tectonic plates, and these plates float on a semi-fluid layer beneath them, known as the asthenosphere. Unlike a completed jigsaw puzzle, these pieces are always on the move, albeit at a leisurely pace of a few centimeters per year. These tectonic plates interact with each other at their boundaries. Picture a crowd of people, some moving away, some moving towards each other, and some sliding past each other. This is exactly what happens at divergent, convergent, and transform boundaries respectively. Now imagine a piece of cloth being pulled from both ends. It stretches until it can't anymore and it rips apart. This is similar to what happens with faults. Faults are zones of weakness in the Earth's crust where the rock layers have moved relative to each other. When the forces pulling or pushing the rocks exceed the friction holding them together, they move suddenly, releasing energy in the form of seismic waves. This energy, stored as stress, causes the rocks to deform, a process known as strain. This sudden release of energy is what we experience as an earthquake. The origin point of the earthquake within the Earth is the focus, and the epicenter is the point directly above it on the surface. The energy from an earthquake travels in seismic waves, much like ripples on the surface of a pond. These waves are the culprits behind the shaking we feel during an earthquake. Primary waves or P waves and secondary waves or S waves are the two main types of seismic waves that seismographs detect. An earthquake isn't a one and done event. There are usually smaller tremors that occur after the main shock, known as aftershocks. These can continue for days, months, or even years. Sometimes, there are also foreshocks, smaller quakes that occur before the main shock. So, the next time the ground shakes beneath you, remember that it's the result of tectonic forces at work deep beneath the Earth's surface. The movement of the Earth's tectonic plates is a reminder of our planet's dynamic nature, a force of creation and destruction shaping the world as we know it.